Hey babes, Jin here. Welcome back to Blindly Honestly. Today I'm going to be going. I am going to be doing another foundation review. So a few weeks ago, I was actually applied and was accepted into the Clara Cosmetics Ambassador Program. So I am now an ambassador with the Clara Cosmetics Company. This is a relatively new company. I think they've been around for about four years, maybe a little bit longer. So right now their product line is very small. They only have primer, foundation, tinted primer, and two sampler sets. But they are coming out with more. If you're interested in finding more about this company, I will link them down below. I believe about 12 different shades of foundation ranging from really, really white pale to very, very dark and ebony. So because I am new to this company, I wanted, well, not new because I have used this product before. So when I got accepted to the Clara Cosmetics group, I decided I wanted to try out their foundations again because it had been a long time since I used them and I didn't have any more left. So I ordered the sampler set. The sampler set is $65 on their website. Um, this is the box that I got. And inside, they gave me a thank you card, just as a thank you for ordering and supporting their company. And it says, thank you for your purchase. You're the best. We appreciate your love and support and we hope you enjoy the team at Clara. And then they also sent me a $15 gift card for their website, which is really cool. So if I do end up wanting to buy a bigger bottle of their foundation, I have a gift card for them now. So there are 12 different shades and they also sent two primers. I'm going to go ahead and insert some swatches I did of all 12 shades here. So as you can see, there's sh the foundation is very, very broad. There's a lot of different shades, so pretty much anybody with any skin tone can use this foundation. I feel like they really were very all-inclusive with their foundation shades. So I'm going to go ahead and do a review of this foundation so you guys can see how it applies, how it sits, and what the end results are, which is what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> And then I'm also going to do an end of the day checkup and flash photos like my last video. So go ahead and sit down and relax and get comfy and enjoy the video and I'll see you at the very end. The primer makes your face feel really, really soft and smooth and I can already see when I put it on that it kind of like sits in the pores so I think it'll stop the foundation from sitting in those pores instead. So then I just went ahead and did my color correcting and then jumped into the foundation. So I decided to go ahead with the shade 6 foundation because I was worried the 7 might turn yellow as it aerates throughout the day. And 6 was a little bit paler than 7 but still looked really good for my skin tone. And then I decided to go in with a brush I had gotten from Pixie by Petra. I'd had it for at least a year and I never really used it. 
So I decided now would be a good time to test it out. So I wasn't liking how the brush was applying, so I switched to the Beauty Blender. And honestly, nothing replaces a good damp Beauty Blender. It applies so much better. does dry powder so it goes on liquid but dries powdery it has a good natural finish to it once you're done it may have been a little too pale still so maybe next time I'll go on with seven but with some with some contour and bronzer it'll darken up a little bit for my skin tone so then I just went ahead and went in and did my concealing and for that I used the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in shade L11 Neutral. And then just for some brightening I go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. This concealer is perfect for a highlighter and the shade I use is Brightening Brightener Illuminator and I just go over all the Kat Von D. Now that that is all put on, I really like how it looks. Though it doesn't make my blemishes pop out more, but it doesn't cover them either. You can very clearly see them all standing out right here. But it does cover like the redness of my chin. I can see it's covered more. My nose looked more covered. I do think this shade is still too pale. So I may try 7 next to see if that's a better shade. So to finish this, my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and bake my face with some um, setting powder. This is actually a new brand to me. This is the Beauty Bakery. All of their makeup line is bakery themed. So this is Setting Flower. It is a translucent powder, but they also have two different shades as well. And this just comes in a really cute little flower bag. It is so cute. I'm going to be keeping this bag forever. This is the packaging and it is adorable little container of a flower. As you can see on the back, it is called Flower Setting Powder and this is the translucent shade. I always take this plastic part off just because it's easier to get in there. So I'm going to let that sit and then I'll finish the rest of my foundation and give my review. So now that my face is powder free and I wiped it all off. I'm gonna go ahead and contour. So now that my foundation is completely done and I have everything done and looking at my face, it looks really good. Um, I'm still kind of upset because right here, crease, my nose doesn't look as bad around my creases, but right here on the bridge of my nose, I don't know what it is about my nose, just as I'm applying foundation and blending everything in, it just smears it off. It's just the texture of the, the skin on my nose hates makeup. Um, I did notice that this foundation does kind of, um, I don't want to say brings out breakouts and pimples, but it definitely doesn't hide them. But it did cover my redness of my chin a little bit better than the Huda Beauty did. Which, by the way, I am not using the Huda Beauty anymore because it broke me out so bad. I should have known because of that chemically smell that I was talking about that it was going to break me out. But I ignored it. But I'm like 99% sure it was the Huda Beauty. So I'm not going to be using that foundation to see if the breakouts clear up at all. But back to the Clara Cosmetics foundation. But that, the foundation is fully matte. It does apply really good and it dries down like powder like my face right now does not feel 
super thick, like feeling like my chin where there's no makeup compared to my face. It feels almost the same, but I can tell I do have makeup on, obviously. Um, I'm honestly really happy with how this finished look looks. So I'm going to be wearing it all day, and I will check in later on tonight to show you guys how it looks at the end of the day after running around. And as always, I will go ahead and insert some flash photography right here. As you can see, the foundation does have a little bit of a flashback. It's not too bad, but so just be weary if you're going to be wearing this for like a photo shoot or seeing behind a bright light. So it is a different day, as you can tell by the eye makeup. But I ended up not doing much the other day, so I wanted to do... I feel like I was doing you guys kind of dirty not doing much that day and doing a foundation reveal. So today I'm actually going out of town and running around doing errands. So I will get a better idea of the foundation. And honestly, day two of applying it, I still really like the finish. I feel like it has a very... It says matte on the website, but it feels more dimmy matte. I don't know if it's just because my oils come out and it makes it look more dimmy shine, kind of. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, it is 7.46 a.m. I will check back in later on at the end of the night and let you guys know my final thoughts on the foundation. All right, so I will see you guys later on tonight. Bye. All right, so it is now 9.16 at night. I've had this foundation on since seven o'clock this morning. Did not touch it up at all because I wanted to get the full effect of this foundation to see how it held up on its own without any touch up from powder whatsoever. The only thing I've touched up all day was my lipstick. Looking at my face now, I do see that the makeup on my nose again is practically all gone. I don't know if you can tell. The redness on my chin is a lot less noticeable than it was with the Huda, with the Huda Beauty. But my pimples right here and right here popped out more with this foundation than with the Huda Beauty. Um, I have a new pimple popping out right here. Kind of made its way out through the foundation. My forehead is slick. The matteness of the foundation is gone. It is now more of like a dewy, dimmy matte look. My under eye creased like a little bitch. Um, I honestly think I need new concealer. I've been using the Kat Von D, but I think it might be too thick because it just always creases. It didn't aerate to a orangey color like I was kind of worried about. I feel like it's still a very natural color. I just don't feel like it lasted very long, if you can tell, right here on the side of my nose. There is a lot of buildup of foundation, and it's kind of not cool at all. <laughs> I don't know if that is fault for the, founda for the foundation itself, or the primer of the foundation that I use, because it did come with its own primer. I mean, you can definitely still see my contour and a little bit of my blush still. You can still see my nose contour. I think I'm gonna give this foundation an eight out of 10 also, just because I love the finish. I love how it applies. It's I love how it goes from liquid to powder. Does not have any type of formula smell to it like the Huda Beauty did. And it applied a lot easier and dried um, a little slower than the Huda Beauty did. I do wish that it had lasted longer on my forehead because it is just slick and oily and nasty. Maybe if I were to touch up throughout the day, it would be better, which really sucks. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that it's not a perfect foundation because I am an ambassador with them. But I want to be honest with you. I'm an ambassador with them because I love their company, I love what they stand for. I mean, honestly, I've never had a foundation that lasts all day and didn't get super oily so I can't uh, like hold that against this brand more than other brands. I don't know, I wish the foundation lasted longer without being touched up. I don't think there really is a foundation out there that doesn't have to get touched up at some point throughout the day. But given that I haven't touched it up, I'm still impressed with the color. But it's definitely, if you have blemishes and if you have a lot of pimples, 
this may not be the best foundation to use think during like when you have bad acne breakouts you may want to stay with a dimmy matte or with a dewy foundation I hope you guys enjoyed my little review if you like this video this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and hit that bell so you'll get notifications and I will see you guys next time love you bye open Cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of